so you'll be driving east or west and you'll think where am i going and you come up on this little sign that says 8,000 feet on the continental divide and then all of a sudden you're in this little town if you blink it's gone and that little community would be named pie town who's hungry for a stop Good news, after a long drought on the Great Pieway of Route 60, pies are back in Pie Town. However, the Pioneer Restaurant is the only place to get your pie fix in a town that once was home to three pieterias. The other two are for sale or for rent, and the rest of the town is rather quiet. Why should people come visit who have never been to Pie Town? Um, so that they can come to an area that is like living 50, 75 years ago. Unspoiled, uh, quiet, friendly, very friendly. Yeah. Yeah, and for good pie. The story is that once upon a time, so many people would stop up here at rest stops and feed up on pie. And they enjoy the pie so much, Pie Town just sort of stuck and became a thing. And as you can see, there's also uh, Key Lime Lane and Custard Street and stuff like that. And it's a fun place to stop. It's not as big as it once was. You can see many of the stores closed. It got kind of hurt by COVID. So it's great to see lots of action here at the Pioneer Homestead. And I think I'll eat a little bit more pie. So some good news, the Pioneer reopened in the summer of 2021 after a long drought. And according to owner Sarah Chavez, business is booming. This summer was incredible because the Continental Divide Trail was the only open trail across the country for all the folks that do northbound, southbound, and uh, so Appalachian Trail and both Pacific Crest Trail were permit or day passes only. So this, I would say we saw about a thousand hikers this summer. Wow. It, like nothing they had ever seen. Geographically, the biggest city near Pi Town is a 90-mile drive in Sicaro, which is the gateway to Bosque del Apache, the wildlife refuge that we told you about in a recent episode. Albuquerque, the largest city in New Mexico, is a two and a half hour drive. How many pies a day do you churn out? I would probably are about 150 pies a day that are going out the door even. We call it an off season, but it's not really even an off season anymore. There but enough about business, you want to hear about the pies. New Mexico apple is the number one pie, and that's with the hatch green chili and pinon. And then from there, I would vote cherry pie, we do peach green chili, we go buttermilk pies all across the board. From there, you name it, we've got it. All the berries, chocolate cream, coconut cream, just depending on the day, we really let, let the girls have free reign. We'll Contrary to the popular myth, you can get more than pie in Pie Town. The Pioneer serves food, as they do. Here's an example of their Sunday dinner. Our menu now includes a blue plate special. We have a warm bowl of the day. We make our own fresh bread here. Mm -hmm. So we do a sandwich. We also do burgers here, too. So, okay. Yeah, and everything can add green chili to it. Outside of the Pioneer, there's not a lot to Pie Town, a dirt road with some houses, a post office, the emergency fire department, and the old pie stores that are no longer in business. In fact, Sarah used to own one of them, let the lease expire, but she did let us take a look around. What is it about pie that makes people, you know, I mean, you've got a it's restaurant. It's Americana. It. it just, it makes you feel simpler time, something easy, and you know you're gonna get something fantastic. Well, that was exciting. I love that chocolate chili pie, though of course the apple and the blueberry weren't too bad either. Remember that Pie Town is at the top of the Continental Divide on Route 60 in New Mexico. If you come to New Mexico, you gotta come visit. And I hope you'll stay tuned for some of our other New Mexico photo walks. We got Santa Fe, Taos, Bosque del Apache. And before you go, don't forget that we'd love you to share your photos of Pie Town if you've been there or just your favorite photos of pies on our Flipboard Pie Town magazine. Email me, 
photowalkstv at gmail.com for an invite to share your photos. I can't wait to see them. And uh, thanks again for watching Photo Walks, and we'll see you on the next travel adventure.